What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. Looks like we've got a double whammy in terms of news, so sit down, shut up, and enjoy the show. Well, it looks like Twitch is in the news again, and if I know anything at this point, it's that whenever Twitch is on the lips of the commentary scene, it's cause they done goofed, and well, this situation ain't any different. Essentially, it seems that they've gone pay to win. Apparently, Twitch has been toying around with some kind of point system, a currency you earn by using Twitch as you normally would, you know, by watching streamers and that sort. These points can go towards things like unlocking exclusive emotes, getting a message highlighted, or suggesting things for the streamers to do. These points could also be pooled together to give the streamer a boost, and once you reached a certain threshold, it would put your stream in highly visible areas of Twitch, gaining you some exposure so you could attract more viewers to your stream and such. Now, I'm sure you could poke and prod at this, there might be some flaws in it and such, but I mean, I don't think it's a half bad idea. It builds community, gives the streamer a chance to grow, maybe get some recognition, and all around, it's a fun little thing to do. Honestly, props to Twitch for doing it, you know, innovating and trying something new. Honestly, I don't think it's something that YouTube would do. They're content with playing it safe. Again, these boosts are bought with points, but Twitch has announced about a day ago that they can now be bought with real money. Basically, you or any of your viewers can straight up buy your way into the Twitch algorithm. See for yourself. So I mean, you probably see where this is going, right? What this seems to be is some sort of lottery, where the more boosts you buy, the greater the chance you'll get featured. Cause I mean, one would imagine there's only so much space to go around, right? So, yeah, it seems that Twitch is practically just going pay to win. The intention is supposedly to help smaller communities get their feet off the ground. But let's think about this here. If it's the viewers that are paying for these boosts, then it's more likely that bigger streamers would reap more benefit from this than the smaller ones, because they're the one with the bigger pool to draw from. They're the ones with the audience that'll be more likely to shell out the dough because of their sheer numbers. So yeah, this seems to be getting a lot of harsh criticism, both from viewers and top streamers. Oda Poppin mocks the idea, saying, no one cares about the small streamers that's why they get no views i'm gonna be boosting my channel like crazy to stay ahead stay small and get fucked nerds kind of highlighting just how exploitable this feature could end up being go carnage says initial thoughts on this I can't even come up with the right words right now on how much I incredibly dislike this direction. Hell, XQC talked about it on stream as well. The problem with this is that if a lot of people start doing it and it buries organic content with manufactured dog shit, the problem is that users will leave the platform and will come back less often. Wait, and the reason why that is, the reason why that is, is that they are experiencing less content that they want to consume because of how far down the content that they would normally watch is down, is under, it's, it's being buried by garbage. Now, this feature is still in some sort of experimental phase with only a select few streamers having access to the option currently. It remains to be seen whether or not this feature will be implemented. What with all the backlash, I think Twitch should do what they did with the safety council. Pretend it never happened. And moving on. Now, furries are a pretty sore subject for me, cause I just made a video on one like two days ago, but it looks like I gotta hop back into the trenches. You hear of NFTs lately? Non-fungible tokens? Of course you have. The people who own them won't shut up about them. If you don't know what they are, think of the Mona Lisa. There are tons of photos and recreations of it that you can buy, but only one is the original. The one that Van Gogh himself painted. And the same deals with NFTs, except it's digital. If you've been paying attention lately, celebrities have been selling out to promote crypto and NFTs like hell. A lot of them are sketchy or just blatant scams. Jake Paul, the FaZe Boys, and know who we're talking about today, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay's been shilling for some pretty sketchy coins lately, but the latest scheme she's gotten wrapped up in is making people just kind of scratch their heads. It's official. I'm a friend of the cartel. It's the first NFT the K9 Cartel NFT is minting for the collection, and you've got a chance to own it. Auction runs for 72 hours. Best of luck. I mean, just look at it. It's a goddamn fursona. There really ain't much to say about it, honestly. I mean, I've poked around the project. It seems to be just like any other, you know, NFT thing. Low quality and soulless, made for the purpose of mass produce to get as much money out of it as possible. I don't know, let's just read the comments. Lindsay Lohan's fursona is directly contributing to the extinction of our species. It's not a phrase I expected to ever say, but here we are. She doesn't even have ears or a tail. Oh, she doesn't. <laughs> How about that? Can't even make furry art right, god damn. These people making fun of this just don't understand that NFTs are the way of the future. I wish you luck, Lindsay, you're a true visionary and a great talent. Anyways, wanna get dinner sometime? Oh no! Oh no! You can't be serious! Oh god! 
Oh no, this this can't be real. This can't be a real person. I don't know, seems like Mrs. Lohan's just gonna shill this thing as much as she can, take the money and run. Honestly, that's something I've always wondered with these things. How do celebrities, like, get away with this stuff? No, not legally, but like, PR-wise. I mean, you'd think it would damage their reputation, especially considering a lot of these crypto and NFT things are a lot of times straight up scams. Man, it's weird how celebrities don't have to give a darn about image anymore. They just have to grift from paycheck to paycheck. No, fans just eat it up. Man, I'm getting sentimental here. That's really all I've got to say about that. Really not much to this. It's just fun to point and laugh at. That's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, do old Jack a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.